In this video, we would like to understand a very important concept, which is the internal resistance of our measurement instrumentation. So far, we have two main instruments we use to measure the voltage and the current, which are, which are the voltmeter for the voltage and the ammeter for the current. Those devices has internal resistance. So what should be the internal resistance? Very large or very small? And let's start with the voltmeter. And to answer this, this question, let's do a very simple circuit. So in this circuit, basically we have two resistors in series connected to a voltage source of 10 volt. So it's a very simple circuit. A 10 volt in series with two resistors, each one is one kilo ohm and one kilo ohm. And we are measuring the voltage by connecting the probe in parallel with the resistors. As we know that for the voltmeter, we measure uh, the voltage by connecting the probe in parallel of the element of interest. Okay, so each resistor is one kilo, one kilo. So the voltage across it is five volt, half the voltage. And we can uh, explain this by voltage division, by Ohm's law, by KVL, by different, by different ways. The question is now, this voltmeter is connected in parallel so a current will coming from this resistance and will come here i will reach this node which is between the connection of the probe and the resistance so if the resistance of the voltmeter is very small then we will have a lot of current will be drawn to the instrument but if the resistance is extremely large, then the, it will act like an open circuit and the current that go in the first resistance will be the same current to go into the second resistance. So which scenario we prefer? Think about it for a second. Of course, the second one, because I want these two resistors, which are in series, to have the same current. So the measurement or the measuring device which is here the voltmeter should have a very very large resistance ideally infinity so that it will not consume any any current and as a rule of thumb any device used for voltage measurement it has to have very very large internal resistance now let's see what should be the requirement for what for the uh, a meter. Now, the meter, as we know, is connected in series with the circuit. So we have here the 10 volt connected in series with two resistors. Each one is 10 kilo ohm. So total we have 20 kilo ohm. So expect the current to be around 500 microamp or 0.5 milliamp. When we see here, the current is close, close enough. Now, back to the circuit the ammeter is connected in series so this one side connected to the voltage source here is an open circuit so the current has to go through the ammeter now do we want the ammeter to have a high resistance or a low resistance if it has a low resistance then the current will be almost dividing the voltage by only these two resistors because the resistance of the ammeter, which is in series, it doesn't impact the total resistance. But if the value of the ammeter resistance is comparable to the circuit resistance, then it would influence the current. So uh, the ammeter resistance should be as small as possible, unlike the voltmeter, which should be as large as possible and now we understand why is that